Hello guys, this is my first tutorial video, and this tutorial video is going going to be how it's going this is going to be a quick tutorial of how to animate like a short little clip. Minecraft clip. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to Blender search blender and this will pop up press well not this but this website will pop up press download and choose the one you have I of course have the Mac one so then after that you would open up Minecraft forums and you couldn't get any any Minecraft rig, so what rig I have is it's this guy on this platform thing with a big line on the back with a whole bunch of different blocks. I'll show you that later when we start getting to the animation. So after you after you've downloaded Blender, you'll have it on your desktop. I have it on my right screen, the screen next to me you can't see I have blender you'll get blender and blender players so and the rig you get will be separate on your desktop so this is what blender looks like it starts off as a block but you're not gonna use you're not gonna use this this you're gonna use you're gonna use the rig you're gonna open up the rig and it'll open up with your rig. This is my rig that I'm going to be using. So, this is how it'll show up. And it'll do have different stuff here, if different textures here if you're using a different rig. So you can zoom in with your mouse roller. I'll zoom in like this. And my guy here first thing I look at is this is not my guy well before we get onto that stuff the first thing you'll need to do is right next to this terrain to terrain PNG this picture here you're here you'll press it you'll press second one second one right here reference reference skin dot PNG press that this and then this stuff will disappear so this would all be this should all be black. So then after you have that, you'll go to here to image next to view and next to the thing we just pressed. You'll go to image, you'll press image, you'll press replace image, and if this if the skin there that you want is already there, then you don't have to do this. So I'm gonna get to my desktop stuff. I'm gonna choose the skin I want. Um and my skin's there instead of the other skin. Now the next thing you're going to do is right click on your guy. So then those arrows will pop up. And this stuff will pop up down here. And if you look down here, right in this spot, you'll press X-ray, and then it'll show bones. There are these kinds of bones, these kinds of bones, these kinds of bones, these kinds of bones, or the, these kinds of bones. The bones I like to look at are B-bone, because these are the easiest ones to move your guy. So, and if you didn't... And you don't have to do the x-ray thing here. Actually, you can go to here. You can go to properties. Go to this block. And then you can press x-ray. And it'll pop up. So, yeah, that's that. We don't really need this right now. Don't worry about this stuff. We'll use that later. So the last thing you're going to do is, if you look here, these two rectangle things, you'll press this, 
press timeline and this timeline will pop up. So then, this is the part where you're ready to animate. The first thing you're going to do before you do any of the animation, you're going to press this red dot. And before I press that, I need to tell you that I'm just going to do a little head moving animation for you guys, but you can do any, any, any type you want. You can do a big animation or any of that stuff. So, this after you you press this green button and then you go to this line right here you you'll drag it to the next line you see which is on the half of zero after you do that you'll turn whichever one you want so I'm gonna turn the head a little and then I'll drag it to the line to the next line which is on the 10. I'll drag it a little more. So after I have that, I'll drag it to the next line. Drag it a little up. And then I'll drag it to the next line. Drag it to where it was. And now I'll go to the next line. And go down a little, drag to the next line, go down a little more, to the next line, a little bit up again, to the next line, up to the top. Now that I'm done, I'm going to go back to the red dot, stop it. Now, I'm just going to play it a little. I can do a lot more stuff to animations. Move your guy. Now, you're guessing why is there a whole bunch of space left that it just leaves you guys still for the rest of the video. Well, to not do that, you'll press this end button down here, and it'll show the numbers. You delete those numbers, and then which, here, let me stop this, and then whichever line your video or animation stops on, which mine is 40, you'll go, you'll go, and you'll delete, and you type whichever when your line is stopped on. So mine stopped on 40. And if yours is stopped on the middle of two numbers, you'll just write, if it's like in the middle of 30 and 40, you would write 35 and stuff. But mine is on the 40 mark, so I would type 40. So then, you'll go up here and you'll press animation. And it'll do this. You zoom out the same way you did with the, you'll zoom out the same way you did with with the beginning and you'll just wait for a couple seconds since this one's small it won't take long so let's just wait until it goes down and up It goes very slow when you're rendering it. So make sure you don't press render, you press animation, or else it's not going to work. Then it stops, and you should get. Here, let me move this stuff here um move this stuff here it's not 
there. So, what I think, yeah, you go back to the previous page. Um, play it. Yeah. Now it's here. It's here. After you, you have to press play it. And then it'll show your little animation. My animation is the guy moving his head. So. And this is uh, a quick animation. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. I'll have next tutorials. Older days. So, hope you liked my video. Bye. See you next time in another video.